up until three years ago, I wasn't a gamer, even less a game designer. So I come from a very political and social background. And I started to see the potential of games to create inclusive and very impactful online education. And seeing how, you know, more and more people have access to the internet with mobile phones, etc. And there's still millions of people who don't have access to, to education. I saw it as a way to, you know, create online quality education for, for those people. Yeah, so this game is about two young kids who has, have to go to the toy store to choose a toy that they really want because they received toys that were gender stereotypes. So they have to uh, overcome a few challenges to choose the, the toys that they really want. My research is about how to democratize educational game design, so to enable anyone to design games for learning. So I created a framework um, that was applied during a weekend long event where anyone over 16 years old could come and design an educational game on social topics. Personally, it was very important to have more women, more people of color, people with disability, you know, the LGBT community, minorities, etc., into game design and having their voice included in more games. So, um, you know, games have very strong issues related to discrimination and to representation. So um, people coming to my event were usually people who had never designed games before, who weren't even necessarily gamers. And it was mostly so people from those specific underrepresented groups in the gaming sector. Games are a way of self-expression. The voices of who designs the games are usually represented in the game they create. So if we have more diversity in the teams, then this diversity is going to be reflected in the games as well. Something that was really interesting from the studies is that in the two days of this event, we spent one day learning about, in this case, it was about gender inequality, so about gender, about education, about game design. And the second day was about developing the game, so actually taking the computers and making the games. So we did spend a lot of time on the learning. And I think this was crucial because we could see the impact of learning, especially on gender and on education, into the games that were created the next day. You know, a PhD is a long journey. And during two years and a half, I was researching, questioning this topic as much as you can imagine. And I actually didn't know if, you know, it was going to work or not. Um, until the end of the event. So when I started seeing the interest and the motivation, and especially the enthusiasm of people who, who were participating, it was, it was amazing for me. I, I, yeah, I, I felt full of emotions and I was, really, I was really grateful that I did all the work that I had done during those two years. <laughs> <laughs>